One of the most common questions you guys keep asking is, can you use Elgato Stream Deck with Venian? The answer is yes, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it and how easy it is. Hi, hi, it's our friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here again with a new Venian Basics tutorial. Today we will go through how to link Stream Deck to Venian, so you can use that instead of trying to send keyboard hotkeys. It is super simple, for this just make sure you have the latest Stream Deck software installed. Okay, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so how do we use Stream Deck with Venian? It is actually super simple and we even have a couple of different ways to do it. We could either use WebSockets or we could use our new HTTP API. But for this specific use case, we're going to use WebSockets. So how do we use WebSockets in Venian is, first of all, you need to go to your settings and then go to the MISC settings. And when you scroll all the way down, you will see the WebSockets here. So basically, we will need to configure our WebSockets to be running on a certain port. So first of all, let's decide a port. We could run this in like basically any port, just make sure it's not used by some other application in your system. So we're going to use 8005 for this and then click Start Receiver. So now Vinyan is able to receive WebSocket messages. So how do we now send a specific message? from Stream Deck. Basically, you need to open up your Stream Deck configuration like this. And uh, we need to add a new action here. And the action we are going to use is going to be called WebSocket message. And now this is the Web Requests plugin. So if you have not installed this yet for your Stream Deck, you will need to add it there. You can most likely add it from somewhere from the configuration settings. So basically we will use the WebSocket message. So let's just drag that in and uh, give it some name. Let's just call it test redeem. And now to the address, we're going to use our local host and uh, we are going to use the port 8005. Now, we also need to add, as you can see here, it says VS localhost port and then Venian. So that's what we are going to do. So we type here VS, like so. Then our localhost IP, which is pretty much always the same, like so. And then we add the port 8005, and then we add slash and Venian. So this is our URL that we are going to be using. Now in the message field, we basically type a raw message that will then be parsed in Venian. So let's just type here test like so. And now if we were now to click this button, obviously nothing would happen because we haven't linked it to anything in Venian. So next we will need to go to Venian's node graphs and we're going to make it actually respond. So let's search for WebSockets. And here we have a WebSocket callback node. Let's click that one. And uh, now the text we added in the Stream Deck button or the action is what we need to type here in the command text. So in our case, we type there test. So let's type the same text here, like so. And we can link this to basically any action. Let's just add it to confetti because that we can easily test here, like so. And then let's just try clicking the button on the Stream Deck. And as you can see, Confetti is spawning as we click the button. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. And remember that using WebSockets through Stream Deck is highly encouraged over using hotkeys from your keyboard, because if you run any process as administrator in your Windows, then it is possible that hotkeys will not be transmitted to Venian and they cannot actually do anything. So 
always use WebSockets if they're available. If you have any questions or would like me to cover any questions you may have during these basic tutorials, or if you have a better way of doing something, do write it down in the comment section to let me know. Anyway, cuties, see you next time. Bye-bye.